breaking up and breaking down, making up and making out round and round. I've learned to get up from the ground. Hey guys, today I wanted to share with you some of the ways that I use oranges, or more specifically orange peel. There are so many benefits of it and I don't like throwing it out because it's just got so many awesome uses. So firstly, one of the things that I like to do is peel the outside of the orange peel, just the zest part and then dry it so you can just leave it in a warm area for a little while until it's kind of dried up and then I use it as tea so I can just store it in a small container and use it whenever I want because it's dried so it will last um, and I can just put it in with herbal teas to make it a bit more citrusy or just have it on its own to have a nice citrus tea and get some of those nutritional benefits from it as well. The second awesome way to use it like that as well is to peel it and dry the peel again and then to use the peels as a deodorizer for your drawers or for any other thing like your shoes or something. So you can just use some of the dried peels and put them into a small mesh bag and then put them into your drawers in between your clothing and you'll get a nice citrusy orange smell to your clothes or you can put them into your shoes once you've taken them off and leave them there overnight like that and you'll have a nice citrusy smell in your shoes that will take away some of that odour. The next way I love to use it is in body scrub because it is really good for your skin and all you need to do is take some of the zest of the outside so I have done a video on this previously where I made a tangerine body scrub I think which I'll link somewhere around here um, but all you need for that is some coconut oil which you just want to soften and then add into that a little bit of coarse sugar and a little bit of orange zest and then you have a really nice citrus scented body scrub the next way to use it is to take the inside of the peel and use it for teeth whitening. And this one is a bit touch and go because there's some evidence that suggests that it has properties that should whiten your teeth and then there's other studies that say that it probably will have little effect. The thing that you do want to be careful with is not getting the orange juice onto the peel because it can have acidic effects. So just use the orange peel on its own without any of the juice on it and then try that and see what effects it has for you. The fifth way I like to use it is as an insect repellent. So you can just take a piece of the peel and rub it over your body and this will just help to repel insects like mosquitoes and things. So if you're going camping or somewhere out in the bush where there's lots of mosquitoes, this is a great thing to be able to do. Especially if you have oranges on you and you don't have any insect repellent, it's a great little kind of life hack. The next way it can be used is as a sponge um, and that's because of the oils and acids and things in this that help to take away greasiness and marks and stains so you can rub it over different areas whether it's the bench top or over your sink or taps or anything like that just to take away any greasy marks. And in the same vein as that you can take the peel and put it into some white vinegar for instance and leave it there for a couple of weeks and all the properties of the peel will kind of seep into the vinegar and turn it into a great citrus scrub or cleaning agent for your different surfaces you can use it to clean the shower and things like that and you'll have the properties of the citrus in there that will help with cleaning so another way you can use this is for its nutritional benefits there are so many nutrients in here and it's a great thing to not have to throw out um, you can either candy the peels, which a lot of people do, but I personally don't like adding extra sugar into my diet where I don't need to. Um, but the thing that I do love to use it for is zesting it. So you can zest it and add it to your breakfasts or your salads or anything like that and just get the zest of the peel into your diet in all sorts of different ways. So another awesome trick to use for orange peels is to use it as a candle. So for that all you need is a sharp knife and go around the orange just cutting through the rind all the way around and then slip your thumb into there and go around with your thumb and you can just kind of pluck the bottom of the orange off and out should pop the middle part of the orange, the stem I guess, and it will be attached to the bottom of the orange and there you have your candle base. So you just need to put about a tablespoon of oil, you could use canola or olive or something like that. Pull the oil in there and then just leave it to sit for a couple of minutes before lighting it and light it with a lighter because if you if you light it with matches like I did you kind of need a couple of matches because it does take a good 30 seconds to light and once it's lit it will last for a couple of hours and the great thing about it is that they float on water so you can have them in the bath with you or something like that they're gorgeous they smell citrusy and they're so easy to do so the next one I guess is along that vein and that's just to use the peel as a bath scent. So you can do this just by cutting little pieces of the peel and putting them in the bath with you. And you could always dry them first and store them in a container next to the bath so that they're kind of like a bath salt or something that you add with your other things into the bath. And they smell so nice and they have all the nice oils and things that they're releasing into the water with you so they help to have good effects on your skin and stuff as well. And then the last thing that I love to do with orange peel is to use it in my pot puri. So that's basically dried flowers and things that have a nice smell. So just take some of that dried orange peel and put it in with some dried flowers like rose petals and things that have their smell still in them. 
and then put it into a bowl in your room or anywhere in the house that you want to smell nice and fragrant. And this is awesome because it lasts indefinitely because those things are already preserved by being dried and they smell delicious and it's so simple to do. It also makes cute gifts if you kind of put a ribbon around them and do them up nicely. So I hope you guys found these tips useful. I absolutely love orange peel. It's an awesome thing to be able to use and not have to go to waste. Anything that you can do to reduce wastage is a super awesome thing to be able to do. So if you guys want to see any of my social media or any more details, they'll be in the description box below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.